All right, folks, welcome to the stream. How are we doing tonight? And a very happy Tuesday to you. We did stream last night and ended up having a just chatting because it was such a mess with everything going on. You hear any airplane noises? That is the question of the night because for some reason it made all my all my audio go to the music track. I don't know if you hear any of the engine or any of the APU or anything. Let me come back here by the APU so you can listen before we start. You hear that? Looks like you do. It's in the system. Okay, cool. Had to make sure because, man, I don't know what is going on lately with that. But my... What you call it? acting stupid lately. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And my music stopped as well, so... <laughs> Oh, and now it's on the wrong channel. Oh, you can't win, man. You cannot win. Why is that on the wrong channel? Windows. Now we got to figure this out. try restarting that and see if that fixes the problem it had everything in my music channel on my go xlr for whatever reason it was my default device and everything else we'll get to everything in just a second i see you there wes hold on just a few here people we are trying to figure out why this happened doesn't make sense to me aha now it's on the right channel okay man that it's always something isn't it <laughs> It is always something. No. I'm not using a second PC, man. This is legitimately just uh, the same one. Let's get started, though. Raikun990, thank you for 14 months. Appreciate that big time. Red Sox student 2, 29 months. How you doing? Gatorboy2685, thank you for five months. I think we're caught up west of the mess with 24 months, two years, my friend. Man, does the time fly by? Literally, we're flying tonight. Welcome back. Thank you very much, man. Ryan Spittler, four months. Appreciate that. How you doing tonight, man? Yeah, we're finally getting out here to Toronto from Minneapolis. We, we attempted this last night. <laughs> it did not happen, but we got it all working today and fly by wire. We did everything. I got my wing views, everything back, and then the sim was crashing. And then I found out that apparently since the world update came out, you can't run online with... Um, you can't run online, basically with multiplayer. It was causing a massive stuttering fest. Oh, we got it all taken care of. It's all good now. It's literally all working. I can't believe it. But everything was fine. Like I tested everything in OBS. Start going live and for some reason Windows pushed all the audio to the music track. Not sure what that was about. That was the first one for me. All right, so there's a lot to cover here with the uh, fly-by-wire A320 Neo, and we're going to get started. We are, we are. We've got the EFB over here, and man, did they add a lot to this. You've got a lot of stuff here now that you didn't have before. You have the OFP we have from our sim brief right here. We can, we can grab that. We can fuel right there from it. You do all sorts of fun stuff. It's all in kilos, unfortunately. If you go into the options, they don't have pounds yet, which sucks. Uh, throttle settings, you go into the calibrate tool. This is a new tool just to calibrate all your throttles. Pretty darn cool that they added that. Here's our flight here. All that stuff. We are not playing GTA. No, we're playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's what this is. 
That is what it is. All right, cool. Well, that's what we're going to do is start the pre-flight of everything. Doesn't look like we have any precipitation here to worry about now. Getting over into Toronto would be a little different story. We'll see how that goes before too long. But right here in Minneapolis, it looks like things are cold, but things are manageable here so far. So on the dispatch page, we know that we need to take block fuel of 70, 71. 70, 71 total. This is not going to happen. 70, 71. Why is that such a big 70, 71? Can you change it? You can. There we go. Three minutes to refuel it. Not a big deal. Defueling it. We'll get our airplane where it needs to be for all that. So, oh, refuel time. You can do instant. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it on real. That, that's fine with me right now. All right, cool. Let's get started down here. Select desired system. Okay, we're good there. Go to the init page here. We do an init request, which I really love this part. Grabs everything from our sim brief profile. I do love that. The United Livery looks amazing. It does, man. This is the 8K one that's on the flight sim.2 and then converted. AOC uplink is good. Sweet. We go to our next page. Here's all of our zero fuel weight. We'll wait to get that in a minute once they're done defueling the airplane. Actually, we can just go over here and go to instant. There we go. No more, no more waiting around. And we can see here in the fuel page that we have 15. Why is it? In, oh, it's in pounds. What's, what's confusing is this here is not, but this is in pounds. That is kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's go to the let's do menu here. Options. Are they going to let me do any of this? Probably not. Why? There we go. In pounds. Kilos. It's in kilos. It's showing fuel on board in here in pounds. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? I don't know, man. Why are you in kilos, but you're in pounds? Even though in the options, you're not. But you're in pounds right there. Why is, it, is that a... Not sure why it's doing it. Super annoying. That I can tell you. That doesn't help us out at all. Well. I mean, that's right. I'm doing the math. It's yeah, it's correct. It's just it, it just ignore it basically. I don't think they have that settled up, settled down yet. Okay, so that's cool. We have the correct fuel on board. That's all that matters. That's all I need to know. All right, cool. So that's done. Let's go into our next page here. We can do our zero fuel weight. Throw that in there. Block is seven point... Seven zero seven one, so seven point oh... I hope that that is going to take it in kilos. It should, even though it's showing pounds in the actual airplane. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, flight plan wise, it should all be in there. Our departure out of here. We just put those, you know, we had to select our runway for that. Breeze your left out of here. And we are doing the Colt 7 departure. And we can tell this is the case by looking over here and going to the OFP. And it should have it somewhere, our route, in there. But uh, it is it is what it is. That works for me. I mean, we'll just we'll just take it all like, like I normally do it. 
Colt 7 departure and the transition is DLL. We already have that in there. We know that is the case. So hit insert on that guy. So we have that. And then there's DLL. And then 3 3 right approach on the Nuber 4. Nope. Erase that. Hit three right on the new is the next one. Nope, nope, nope. Return. Screwed that one all up. Hold on. Haven't used the old Airbus in a while. Arrival three, three, right. And then in. There it is. Right odd, I believe, is our transition. Nope, it's money. Money, money. So we'll just insert that. So no VS on that. So if we look at our flight plan, we should have that in there now. There's money. Yep. And then there's the arrival. We'll see if that is the case. We'll step through it on the plan here and make sure it makes sense to us. Out of here. There's taxi. Colt all up into there. And then into Toronto for the arrival. That's what that is. Alani's there. Yeah, and then it's just a little turn out there to right odd after that. So we can actually go vectors after that. That works for me. I'm happy with it. Let's get all this stuff good to go there. 20 on you. Do a local out three zero one zero for now. Flight directors can come on. Well, actually, it doesn't matter right now because we haven't done our thing. Well, it's all right. Okay, cool. Performance page. We need to get our V speeds from there. Transition altitude is going to be 18. Can't remember if this does these automatically. I think it does. Wait a minute. Nope. We do flaps one first. And then we do up 1.0 that. And then I think we can do it now. It should be a different speed. Uh, I don't remember. We'll find out, won't we? Flex the temp. We'll do 45 if it will take it. And that should be good as far as all that goes. Let's get our other stuff in. Be good to have a surge function in the OFP. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Love doing the Colt 7 departure, Maverick. Very nice. Okay, cool. So we have that into there. And we can now get Pack X up and running here. So start a flight. Be Minneapolis to Toronto, United 7 Eleven for now. 39-0 on the cruise altitude. We don't have that in there yet. 390. Why is that not in? Did it pull it in there automatically? It did. Okay. Sometimes I just don't I don't I don't know how it does the things it does. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be until takeoff, we're gonna give ourselves 15 minutes to get out of here. Passenger count. On the OFP they were showing, we were taking on 171 passengers. Full flight today on the A320 Neo. So 171. So not a full flight on the Neo. So 171, 15 minutes from departure, hour and 29 in flight today. We are Wi-Fi equipped. No boarding music. We're going to have no meals, but we will have snacks. In-flight entertainment system. Why not? Custom safety breeding. I'll, I'll, I'll grab that from the briefing from my Pack X audio. We have United in here. And we hit start. Cool. So that's going. That's all good to go. We have people pretty much on board here. Go to our other page. Yep, they got the doors already. Good to go there. So not much longer. It shouldn't take too long to board here. And then we'll be ready to get on out on our way to Toronto. That's what we're going to do. Um, 
Kansas City Air International Airport. I used to work there all the time. I used to drive up there and, and have to do some work there. So I do like that one. Yeah, no meals no, is a complaining passenger. Well, I mean, that's just not a thing when you fly on board this thing, this airplane. Look at all this. So I did a custom uh, lighting to this. I'll show you. I've got my game filter. So I have, this is default. This is what the game looks like by default. You see how yellow and like kind of like purple tinge it has? And sometimes it puts that green under the airplane. I did this to it, that right there. I think it looks better. It sharpens up those shadows as well. It makes them look a little more realistic, but that's what we're doing there. Okay, so that's all good. We have all of this. And they'll be telling us here soon enough, like, welcome aboard, blah, 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 blah. So we'll just do that in the meantime. No, the new update, I've had nothing but performance gains. Increases actually. Wouldn't think it, but it is. It is pretty good. I get this thing up and running here, so we can do our before start checklist. And I've got it right here. So pre startup APU master is on. Uh, we need the bleed on. That's what we need. All right, let's move this over here. So. APU's on, McDo weights are good, McDo takeoff performance is good, V speeds are in, APU bleed is on, external power is going to be off here in a second, seatbelt signs are on, air conditioning as required. Pre startup checklist complete. We'll get these up here, we're going to be pushing out. No, we're not going to be escaping the game and pausing it. It causes issues with the throttles, and I'd rather not do that. I've done it in a previous video. My sim settings are pretty damn default, man. The only thing I do is change the uh, I change the deal SS, whatever it is. I don't know. To TAA for the anti-aliasing. And then I put this these on, like, medium, I think, is what they're set. Get out of here. We have 11 minutes. Come on, people. Get on board. Let's get going. They have their own pushback system in this airplane now, which is actually really cool as well. Let's just clear ourselves all the way up to 390 today. We don't even need to step it at all. And these guys need to be in managed mode. Why are they not in managed mode? Ah, oh, flight directors, that's far away. There we go. Manage mode for all those. That's something different I've never dealt with before. Cool, they added that. We're just waiting on these people to get on board and put their stupid luggage away so we can get going. Are the doors animated on this model? I'm Fitz. Yes, yes it is. On behalf of the cabin crew, all right. I'd like to welcome you aboard our flight. As you find your seat, be sure to place your luggage on items in the overhead bins and smaller items underneath the seat in front of you. If you have trouble finding a location for any of your carry-on items, please use the flight attendant call button over your seat and somebody will assist you. If the overhead bin is full after you put your carry-on inside of it, please close the bin as a courtesy to other passengers. Once all your items are put away, please clear the aisle and sit down in your seat to allow other passengers to find their seats as well. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please leave the exit seating responsibilities in the safety in the seat back in front of you. Please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, please let a flight attendant know so you can be repeated. Feel free to use your cell phones during the rest of the boarding process, but we do ask that laptops, tablets, and any other larger electronic devices are stored once we depart from the gate. Thank you and welcome aboard. 
Welcome aboard. Yeah, still boarding. We have nine minutes to get out of here. But we have a tailwind, so we're not worried about it. Did they really put a user in there? Ugh, I hate that. Why do you do that? I don't want that there. They're not going to let me delete this stupid user. Fake one. Come on, people. All right, we got a company message. Should. Get that guy out. Put that up there. Perfect. So here we are in Minneapolis. Windsor three, five, zero, eight knots, 10 statute miles of visibility. A few clouds, 7,000 scattered clouds at 8,000. I'll say it was three, zero, one, one as of now. So we can go, oh. it's on both sides and that's good. Come on folks, let's get going back there. You're taking for friggin' ever. Taking forever, dude. Big Cordina, thank you for gifting a subscription. Out to Loaded Gun, appreciate that big time. Leaner 35 with a shout out. Everybody say hello to the Leaner 35. Using a shout out there. How about that, man? Colin Chunky, gifting out five subscriptions. Thank you so much for that. We got Bajiana123. We got Person Man682. Maximus. We got Jake Miller and Too Old. Welcome to the stream family. And Colin, thank you so much for that, man. Truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, seven minutes. They are taking their sweet ass time getting on board this airplane today. I'm on, people. You know how it's like, though. The 80 year old passengers are walking slow. <laughs> but you know how it is, man. Everybody's got their carry-on luggage and they're trying to stuff it up in there right now and can't get it in there and... Oh, it sounds like we might be any close. We're just waiting for her to tell us. We're gonna go ahead and have them, uh... Yeah, we're waiting for them to pull the jetway away. Oh, hands, We're how you ready doing? To go when you are. Oh, we are ready to go. Let's get out of here. All right, ground. Get my door away. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome Pull aboard away. flight 711 with service to Toronto. Our flight time will be roughly Goes. one hour and 29 minutes. Beacon lights now on. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stayed. Yeah, and we're ready to push please back. Please Call the tug. Make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in full comes. upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew, prepare cabin for departure. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. The IHP-7. Thank you very much. I don't know what that one does. Let me stop. This one's just straight back. Is it hooked up back there or no? I don't know what it's doing, but okay. What are you doing? There it goes. I guess they aren't going to... I don't know what, how you do that, but okay. Not worried about it. All right, this goes over to start mode. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. And we're going to start engine two. Turning two. Welcome aboard. Before we depart, please remove the safety card from the seat pocket in front of you and follow along as we demonstrate the safety features of this Airbus A320 airplane. We appreciate your complete attention to this important safety information. If you're seated in an exit row, you may be required to assist the crew in an emergency. 
emergency. If you're unable to perform the functions described on the safety All card, right. please Let's advise the flight attendant Push for back. at the end of this video. Stop it right there. Fasten your seatbelt fully tight across your lap. Insert the metal fitting into the buckle. Tighten the belt by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the buckle flap. When the seatbelt sign is illuminated, immediately be seated and buckle up. To ensure your safety, your seatbelt should be fastened at all times when you are seated. There are four exit doors, two on each side of the airplane, and four window exits located over the wings. Each is equipped with an evacuation slide that automatically inflates. Each exit is marked with a sign overhead. The main door is open by moving the large handle in the direction of the arrow. Open the overwing exits by removing the cover and pulling down on the marked handle. Be sure to jump out of here. That PTU bark, of course, you. starting one. When you're on the ground, move away from the airplane. In the event of a water landing, Lance Payne, thank you for three months. Appreciate it. Detached from the airplane and used for supplemental flotation. Overwing exits should not be used in a water landing unless directed by a crew member. Look around to locate the two exits nearest your seat. In some cases, your nearest usable exit may be behind you. In an evacuation, exit path lights will illuminate to guide you to an exit. A life vest equipped with a water activated light is located under or near your seat. It can be identified by a red tab. Do not remove it unless directed by a flight attendant. If needed, pull the red tab to remove the vest. Tear open the pouch, remove and unfold the vest. To secure the vest, flip it over your head. Pull the straps right. from the back and attach the hook. Nose wheel to the steering right is front. disconnected. Why is that? Pull the waist straps oh, tug has to be gone. Maybe that's why. Yep. Seat belts, park brake. Predict the windshield all that off. You'll get in a second here. We got flaps one, one is selected, so let's go to fly control page. I've got left, right, forward, back, left rudder, right rudder. That is free and correct. Let's get our pitch trim to 1.0 up. There we go. Flaps one is selected, and we are locking our cockpit door now. After start checklist is next. For taxi, auto brake goes to max, spoilers to armed. So max and armed. United Airlines is a max for you. Then we've got flaps are set. Engine anti ice flag, trills pitch trim, rudder trim, steering pin removed. Ready to taxi. Will the APU bleed? And master switch can come off as well. Taxi over to three zero left for departure. Be sure that laptop computers, cell phones, and all personal electronics are turned off and properly stowed. If an emergency evacuation becomes necessary, leave all carry-on items behind. If you have any questions regarding safety, please ask a flight attendant. On behalf of your flight crew, thank you for your attention to safety. It's our pleasure to have you aboard, and we hope you enjoy your flight on United. Blum, 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 blum. Okay, that's good to go. Flight control page goes bye bye. Now we got to get over to three zero left for our departure here. Quick. Lance Payne again. Thank you for three months. I know you were saying that right in the middle of everything happening. The checklists are available. Yes, you can get them on flightsim.to. Can't miss it. Revan479, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream family. Hope you are doing well. Take off config. Predicted wind shear is off. We need to turn that on. Let's go ahead and come down here to do that. 
Stone. Tell the cabin crew they're going to be seated for takeoff. Nope, they're not ready yet. Do it one more time before we get closer. Come on, cabin crew, quit screwing around. Really? What are you all doing up here? There we go. I got it now, sweet. All right, sweet. Lane lights come on. Lane lights on, take off for you. We are gonna chrono it up. Both sides. We have to take off, three zero left for us. Sim's a little stuttery. Just a little stuttery is all. Thrust runway nav, all thrust is blue. Airspeed's alive. Oh my god, V1 already? Rotate? What the hell happened there? That was like nothing. I was right, gear up. Lindbergh Uniform Alpha Lima, 711 ATC services terminated. Good, bye. Don't want your help. Thrust climb. Okay, cool. That's all right. Just fly the airplane for now. Why aren't you going to climb? Oh, there it is. Cinematrical. Yeah, well, I don't know. There we go. Come on, you stupid thing. I'm trying to get in the climb. It is joke. Whatever. Going to climb mode. There we go. Jesus.
TKS, whatever. Not online. We'll make you happy. Back on. And autopilot. Engaged. Yeah, I don't know why the, uh, it's the new, what you call it, the calibration utility to do these throttles is kind of unintuitive for me, but I just used values I found online to get them there, but they're, they're slightly off still. So that's the reason why I wasn't doing that. But that's okay. Our departure out of Minneapolis. Looking wonderful. Turn the game sound down here. Well, it might still blow your eardrums off, I'm not sure. background right there. Yes, it does. It's the TCA side. It's the same one I always use. I just have I have to have this thing like slightly off. It, it, it. They added this whole calibration utility thing, so it's a whole to do now. So, of course, all the ones that I worked on to get it working before are gone. So you have to go in here now and go to calibrate, and you have to calibrate every one of these now. And if it's slightly off, it's slightly off. What are you gonna do? And that's exactly what it's doing right now. It's just being stupid. Of 18, standard pressure. All right, climb Barrow standard. Anti-ice is still off. Weather radar is on. Above 10,000 lane lights, wing lights, seat belts. Those are all off. Uh, seat belts are on right now. I'll cruise, it'll be up next. My trip was good. It was good because moon though look at that moon Appreciate that. Let me four. Welcome to the stream. How you doing?
did something where you can change the exterior sounds. Is that what it is? They did. Engine. Exterior master volume. I'm trying to know. Okay, we're gonna get rid of those spoilers. Those should be put away. Keep our seatbelts on all the way up to 390. Everything else is looking okay so far. There's that line of clouds up in front of us there. I figured we would run into the top end of that system that was running through there. Real Kevin Moran, thank you very much for the cheer. Appreciate it. Awesome, Lamique. Sub sniper, no, none of that is true. Captain five one four redneck, good evening to ya. How you doing? Sims a little herky jerky today. I don't know what that's about. Not really sure. The A329X is a freeware airplane, so I don't know if it'll be on the marketplace or not. was able to hand fly decently. I was worried that that wasn't going to happen. So we have the, the custom fly-by-wire. It's fantastic. What's up, D-Hole? How you doing? Here's our turn. I love that new United livery. It looks great. zero.
with that band of precipitation there, right off the nose. Two thousand five hundred for three nine or zero. Dylan Van, how you doing tonight? Good evening. Money, I told you yesterday I'm doing just fine, man. How you doing? Across Canada, finally, it took us took us a long time, and we we went all the way. Remember, we went all the way from like the southwest on up to Seattle or Portland, and Seattle, all that. And we went to Vancouver, and then we went all the way across to Calgary. And then we went to Minneapolis, and now we're going to, we're going to Toronto. So we've been just kind of scooting all the way across all of that stuff. Microsoft Flight Simulator keeping a logbook of all the flights you've flown. Yes, it does, actually. About the snow in Toronto or tonight, I live there. All right, well, maybe we'll have some IFR weather coming in. That'd be cool. Real cool, man. to come up on is this huge snow band right here in front of us. There will not be any 
three flights to the Raleigh Durham Airport today now. Was the last time I flew in real life? Yesterday. How you been, Bay Area Fire? Good to see you. Mr. Spells gifting five subscriptions out. Thank you very much for that, dude. Jackery, we got Clobber Band, we got Just Simply Dave, Dr. Kane Six, and Trogger. Welcome to the stream family. Big thanks to Spells for that one. Holy cow. I am doing good, Barry of Fire. I am doing good. <laughs> fly over all the snow but at least we're going to be above it we don't have to worry about anti-ice for now but we're definitely going to worry about it coming in to the airport about an hour and six out from our arrival our destination Two for three nine or zero. Get to get those seatbelts off before too long here. People for the most part seem to be pretty happy. They're 95%. We'll get that snack service on before too long. Get that going. Dress is on its way and seatbelt sign comes off. They're free to move about the cabin all they would like. We are flying on top of all the snow right now. Look at that down there. It's crazy. Drummer, how you been? Good to see you. starting their drinks snacks and drink service so that'll make people happy now they're at 99 percent satisfied now that they heard that Uncle Bill.
a 55 knot tailwind right now. So I believe we're going to be ahead of schedule, which is great. The money's there, and then... Still got a while to go. food um if i were to give one of my barrel i like chick-fil-a i like lion's choice from st louis taco bell i guess that would be like a fast food fast food place but lion's choice is the best in st louis store employee to be in a pilot man Jeff you really get it down <laughs> no, no. Mr. Orange what's going on how you doing be above the clouds so that's good that is a whole lot of precipitation right there off our note, right side there it's not flamingo it's flamingo Five seconds. Satisfied 99 point. Well, 99% satisfied right now. Or hungry. There's gonna have those people that didn't take care of what they were supposed to on the flight, but well, we'll be getting something soon. We're eating now. Do what you can do. and the throttle quadrant set up. Got it all. Going on today. Bye, Mr. Orange. Have a good one.
Brando, what's going on? Good evening to ya. How you doing? Welcome, Brock. We are flying the Airbus A320neo, the A32NX. I fly by wire mod. This one right here. Pretty good looking airplane. That is not a Boeing 737. It is an Airbus A320. Well, the A320 200 Neo. The Neo. TRX, what's up? What's going on? Here about 53 minutes from touchdown. About to make this turn over this point. Watch it from this view. There it is right there. Kyle Red 88, thank you for five months. Appreciate that big time. Uh, Keith Lick, yeah, I did. I got a new camera last week. Well, a little bit before then, but yes, last week. It's the Sony A6400, and I got a Sigma 30 mil with a 1.4 f-stop on it. I love this thing, dude. I mean, look at this. Look at the quality of this thing. 
<laughs> Not bad at all. Not too shabby. Yeah, it was something that uh, I've been wanting to upgrade for a while. And then we had that huge, like, subscription craziness happen. So I was like, I'm going to buy us a like, new camera. Take care. got a better one for you a classic song oh, I don't think I have it anymore well no I have it but for some reason my hard drives are not kicking on for whatever reason that was a Randy Newman Back on a different night, Coward. How about that? And just remind me. Potato 19, good evening to you. How you doing? Awesome. Yeah, I'll have a little bit more energy for that some other time dude it, today was hit hitting my uh hitting the ground running you know from being from being away for a while and to getting everything running but i'm i'm pr pretty exhausted today but also got taxes done and i was finally squared away i had to wait for my 1099 to come in and it's been a day that's for certain and i did junkyard simulator which is about it took about an hour or so to do that I woke up a little late today, though. Slept in. It felt so nice to sleep in my own bed last night. I did miss that greatly. Frank William, how you doing? So here we are. Does this airplane still have a top of descent calculator? I don't think it does. Actually, I bet it does in here. Copy descent calculator right there. Manual input. Current altitude. Sync it. Target altitude. What? I don't know how this works.
looks like they don't have it in here yet. Still. We need to cross Apdax at 230. Okay. We can do that. So we got a little ways to go to forward closer to that, but that'll be alright. Yes, I did. About a week ago. About a week ago. I know you were here. Pretty sure. But maybe not. But now we're on a Sony A6400. Yes, yes. I'm trying to figure this out. Top of descent calculator, ground speed, manual input, fetching from sim. Current altitude, target altitude, 230. Let's do that. Desired, ver desired vertical speed. This is this is the top of descent calculator, but it's not. It's, it doesn't have it in the VNAV, I guess. Okay, that's what we normally do anyway. Diego, Exus, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? seeing pack x that's how we have any passenger stuff happen this is all part of pack x p-a-c-x Three minutes and 15, no, 17 seconds. And we are about 43 minutes from our arrival. That moon looks great.
command 1127 what's up good evening to you thank you very much I'm glad you enjoy all the YouTube stuff man thank you Chris Allen 25 with the cheer appreciate that deal Heron I'm doing just fine I'm doing I'm doing good man doing good Man, those clouds look great today. It took me a while to set everything back up. Yes, between having to do that with the with the Microsoft Flight Simulator and then Windows 10 doing what they normally do, yeah, I was kind of a pain in the butt. But I got it all taken care of. on time though 64 knot tailwind can't go wrong with that we are 52 nautical miles to money after money we get the next jump to Aptax and that's pretty much it from there Joker the bomb, I am doing well. How you doing? Waiting for the Aether 30 to be uh, a little bit more further down the line. Mickey B23, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate it. Pirate 484, thank you for five months on a four month streak. Love the streams, Jeff. Thank you for the awesome content. You are very welcome. Thank you very much for the continued support. Of course, five months. It's crazy. Crazy, man. Snowball85, thank you for the cheer, and Sniper Elite with the cheer as well. Thank you very much for that. Jonathan Orendorf, or sorry, Orendorf. Hello, how you doing? Oh, 
out surfing. In this airplane so far man doesn't it seem like when we took off didn't it seem like it had a little bit more oomph than usual although it wasn't going into flux that's probably why <laughs> uh, yeah the night delivery is really good man that's a good one simple and clean yeah, it did themselves on this one. Looks mighty beautiful. Yeah, I rocked it down the runway, and I it might have just been because I was I couldn't get it to go into flex mode. I have to mess with that and get those all set up better. Flex is basically just the same way as like doing a derated takeoff. You calculate it to what the t air temperature is that you want it to be, and it derates the takeoff, so it's less thrust for the takeoff. It's um, it prevents wear and tear on the airplane and uses less fuel and stuff. But in a simulator, you don't have to worry about that anyway. Here we are on the longest stint now, Aptax, 142 nautical miles. We just need to cross over Aptax at 230. Still haven't figured this whole thing out, the top of descent calculator. Sink, 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 sink. That's where we're doing it now, it would make that. <laughs> I don't understand it. Over Michigan right now, about to get over, about to cross over Flint. It looks like. That's what it's looking like. Monty, how you doing? I am doing fine. I'm doing just fine.
enter some information in here. So we're just gonna print that out actually. Let's go to the big two menu option. Or sorry, Atsu, AOC menu, receive messages. There it is there, new. We're gonna print that out. Get the updated weather. Coming through. Bam. All right. So now we can go to the perp page. Next page. All right. So it looks like it's going to be an altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Temperature of two. Notice. Winds are three four zero at nine. Eighteen thousand feet for the transition altitude. Work. Not sure what the minimums are on three three right. so easy to find out information like that. There's air nav. They have nothing. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We'll approach 122, full flat landing. Seems about right. I'm trying to get the correct guitar here. No shelling. Yeah, it was two. Okay, that makes sense. 36 degrees. Pretty cold. Pretty darn cold. Now yeah, they can't complain about us not being ready for that. cold stuff here. Anthony 15 TTV, what's going on? Good evening to you. Gubbins, I'm doing just fine. How you doing? Blue Head Tom, what's up? Six minutes out.
anti-ice for sure today on the way in. Send and maintain file two three zero. To assist with customs at our destination, flight attendants will begin handing out forms momentarily. Please review and complete these forms and keep them with you for presentation upon arrival. Oh, well, they're ninety four percent satisfied. See right there. We've done pretty good today. Can't beat that. About as good as it gets, honestly. Negative 26C. Definitely going to be doing some uh, anti ice on this drop in. Let's be ready for it. Just a little bit there. About 40 on that guy. That'll be a 230, no problem before then. Showing it right there. Or maybe that's top of descent right there they were going to show us. I don't know if that was there before. After all, we'll cross a 230. Not a big deal. It's doing that crazy stuff, though. I don't know why. It tries to descend at such a crazy rate. So I don't think that's fixed. Sadly. It used to be good. Now it's back the old ways. Oh yeah, man. That is going to be some descending down into the clouds here. Dax 230 and then we'll continue down to 7,000 to Ikbat so we'll just go to 10,000 after that and slow up to 250 we'll be okay on that
cloud turbulence. We ought to break low today. All right, descent. McDo landing perf reviewed. TCAS below. I'm worried about it. Uh, approach briefing, no care. Nav aids, anti ice is on. EFIS ND constraints are on. T bell signs, gonna turn those back on now. We are still in our descent now to 230. Civil science are as required. Barrow set. Low 10,000. Yep, we'll get there eventually. But now we're coming down to 230 now. So we're cross apt exit that. And then continue on down to 10,000 next to 250. And then 7,000 to, to the other guy. Just to make sure we don't bust their speed. Beyond 250 there. As we're in the stuff right now. Anti ice still on, looking good. Four miles from Aptax, on down to 10 we go. So we'll go down to 10. Eighteen hundred feet per minute for that one. And we'll change our speed once we get closer to that. No constraints on the arrival. Uh, Nuber's 220, so okay. 220 on that. We'll slow to 250. Two fifty on the speed. Fan doing just fine. How you doing? Doing good. A little busy at the moment on our arrival, but we'll be we'll be good here. So Nuber at 220. So we still got to do that. 7,000 to bat. So let's keep coming on down. A little bit heftier than that. Let's be breakout.
Number two on that one's working fine. Low 18. Okay, 299 or 9 we were looking at, what was it? 299 or 8. There we go, it's selected. Thank you, God like. Angry Wolves Den, thank you for two months. Appreciate that big time. Hungover starts, yes, VNAV isn't uh, is not working. It was it was trying to descend it like, you know, five thousand feet per minute, the classic. Not sure why that is still a problem, but it is. in our speed brakes. through the clouds. Very cool, angry. Uh, I don't know if I will run an NIS season, but I, again, but I will, uh, I express interest in spotting for a team. So we'll see how that goes. This thing doesn't want to slow down at all, man. Slow down to 10 here. We have begun our final descent to Toronto. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect extra track one final time. Please ensure to bring table and stow to be in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the back pocket or under the seat center. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any larger electronics. Looking good, right on schedule here. Keep those speed brakes out. We're coming down to 220 on the speed. So we're below 10, 250. We'll start our way down to 7,000 feet here. There's 250 there. Slowing down still. Going to hold 10,000 feet. Lane lights come on. Lane light comes on. With an over 10,000 feet. Airplane's below 250. Continue on down to 7. Try and... Uh, See if the VNAV is okay here. Or if it's acting stupid. There's less of that there. I keep the anti us on for now because these clouds might we might pick up some ice in these clouds. We'll see how it goes. VNAV's doing what it should do now, so that's good. Then the system comes on both sides. Maintain a 220. 
I'm not down to 7,000. Still. We'll be looking at 3,000 at Agbeck. Okay, so we can descend down to 3,000 eventually here. We'll go to a heading mode too. Actually, let's hold seven here for now. Want to get ahead of ourselves. No reason for that. Maintaining 220, looking good. Yeah, see, that's the ice. I knew we were going to pick up some ice in these clouds eventually. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. That's why I didn't want to mess around with it. Good, good, good thing we didn't. There's that classic, uh, MSFS turn, a coat hanger, I call it. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to get vectors to Agbeck to 3,000 feet. So we'll just do uh, our own vectors to that. That won't be a big deal to get done. You see Toronto Airport right off our nose. Right there in the distance there. It's next to the water. Okay, coming up on Elani now. We're three miles from that. There's 7,000. Continue on down to 3,000 here. to a manage descent mode on that guy heading mode pull that out there let's go now to a heading of oh, let's get it a little bit this way about 110 descend to 3,000 feet 20 is good speed brakes are in keep an eye on the speed on the way down I'm gonna go ahead and go still cockpit I haven't flown this thing in a while so Want to make sure we're good to go on it. War Dog Alpha Gaming. Thank you for 28 months, brother. Hope you are well. Always good to see you. My man. So to 210. On the speed. That's the airport right there. on yeah best believe it whoa the only ginger well first of all we had ultimate den men thank you very much for the three months and thank you for the continued support the continued support appreciate that the only ginger 320 gifting five subscriptions out we got uh, Real Travesty, Dark Dodger, Yoda Style, Zolom24, and Awesome1234. Welcome to the stream, family. And thank you so much, the only ginger. <laughs> Kicking it back with another five. Appreciate that so much. Wow, wow, wow. Still slowing down, or going down to 3,000 feet here.
Back to right ourselves for 3 3 right. Approach. 210's looking good right now for speed. Go past Agbek by a little bit, and we're going to square up and get an intercept. Texas Redneck, 47, six months. Have I ever crashed to another plane mid-flight? No, I have not. Thank you so much for the continued support, man. Appreciate that big time. Ryan, what's up, brother? Glad to see the sim working tonight, man. What was the damage total time spent fixing the stupidity? Uh, roughly four hours, four to five hours today. Four to five hours, give or take. No joke. Zero nine five on the heading. Picking up more ice, gotta love it. Zero on the heading. And zero six zero on the heading. Slope to 190 on the speed here. Right, 025. Toronto off our nose there. And we got a nice intercept here about one. They're one, two for now. Flaps one. Speed checks for flaps one. And it will go this way. Zero four. Arm the approach. Localizers alive. Anti ice can come off below the cloud deck. We'll be okay here. Line up on the runway now. One ninety on the speed. Two three or two seven zero two three looking good there. And our plane checklist EFIS is required and D terrain is required. Gear will come down. You see, you're down. So yeah, we'll get all that in a minute. We'll get on all of that. Wing lights, all that's good. Yep. 
I maintain about 190 on the speed right now until we grab the glide slope. I'll go into more of a managed mode. Glide slope's coming down the line. Lucky head, think of a gift to the subscription out to John Towers 1 2. John Towers, welcome to the stream family and Disciple of Darkness 666. Lucky head, thank you very much for that. And Multi Disturbed 666, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. Appreciate that big time. Okay. Gear down. Pops two. Manage mode. On the speed. Glide slope. Hey, Jack, let's give us two gears down. It is indeed. Very green. Serial lights, all nodes, wheel lights, all auto brakes set, uh, spoilers, iron flaps. Okay, got it. 2,500. Those are good. They're all good. Yep. Slowing down to that now. Setting the flap. This flap's three coming in now. Nay, okay. -o. Full. There's a little bit of downtown Toronto back there. Barely, barely see it, but it's there. All right, cabin, get that checked forward. Come on, cabin. They always take forever. There they go. She's for landing. All right, cool. My airplane. This is not going to be a floater of a landing. I'll tell you that. This is going to be a pretty, pretty firm touchdown with the winds right now the way they are. Then it gears down three green flaps are full. Your speed's good. Lights are good. They're gonna land three, three, right? Ooh, hello wind. How you doing today? One Getting a little less now as we get closer to the runway. That's good. It's not gusting as much. 500. down the center line nice 100 50 40 30 20 
10, 5. Versus out. Sounds good. 70 clear. All right, made it. For which way the terminal is? I think it's on our right here. I believe. The old terminal. Don't remember. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto. The local time is 3:25 p.m. And it's currently about 2 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until it's the air up. traffic comes to a complete stop and the people can switch for APU. Off. Remember to use caution when opening On. the overhead bins as items may have been shifted. Strobe right off. If this is your final lights off. We thank you for flying. XE. Us. If you're making a connection, that on now. Off for you. check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of your journey. Ground spoilers. What are you doing? Is this the old terminal? Let's find out where the hell we are right now. Nope, that's a new terminal. Okay. Let's go continue in this way. I'm not sure exactly where United Parks, but that's okay. Not worried about it. Let's start the APU. APU bleed ready to go. on that guy and we turn off off on you let's taxi in to the ramp here you do it from the outside view I guess Brakes on. Engines come down. And yeah, I know. Then our logbook. You can light off. Seatbelt is off, and people can get off the airplane. Let's get all this ready to go. Ground. Get this thing out here. Get our door open. Shuts down, we'll go to the door page. Once that connects, we'll be able to get everybody off the airplane like that. Baggage as well. And they are deboarding. And there you have it. them do their thing here. Oh, we have to get that door open. That's why. 
There we go. Now they can do the little thing there. The Northern Alex, 46 months. Hey, oh, thank you very much, man. How you doing tonight, brother? We'll see what the, uh, all the, the stuff was here in a second. Once people get off the airplane, the flight will end and we'll be able to get our information from there. Better not. I am doing well. Good to be back home, man. Good to be back home. So we're five minutes ahead of schedule. That's good. I think we'll find out in a second here. thing now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on, people. Get off our airplane. Well, I can just end the flight. I mean, that's all we have to do. The menu and the flights. And there you go. We landed. Yeah, negative 314. I knew it was going to be a little, a little bumpy. Uh, I'm totally telling my friends about this airline. I'll be recommending you at work. Everybody liked it. No notable events there. We departed there. Plane arrival was that. 320. We landed at 325. So maybe a little behind. One hour and 43. 92% they were happy on. Save that one. Yep. Okay. We're good on that. And you saw early I cut those that power so early, but the ground effect in Microsoft Flight Simulator is just crazy sometimes. So the plane either floats forever, otherwise you're going to miss your touchdown markers. So I'd rather have a firmer landing on the touchdown markers than anything else. There you go, though. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't bad at all. No PAC-X flight detected. Yep, well, that's because PAC-X is done just like that I enjoyed it greatly always love doing some uh, flight sim and it's good to have the it's good to have this airplane back honestly like I'm more than uh, stoked about that well we're gonna send you guys over to good old glow stick Willie they're they're rocking out tonight having a good time as usual so go over there and give them some love. That's going to do it for us tonight. We will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves, fool. Mm -mm 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 -mm